Kenneth Herring uh, was asking me, um, got some, he got some great ideas from the video he was watching, but he was wondering, what do you take in the way of tools for minor repairs in the field? I thought this would be a great question to ask both of you. You know, what you like to bring along with you, you know, if you, if you need to make a quickie repair. And I, well, I can tell you right right, right yeah. now, in you know, sitting in my car, I probably have a multi-function screwdriver. I got a pliers and a crescent wrench and one of those little um, pocket knife multi-tools. And that's, so far, that's that's worked for me, so... Are you still rocking the um, Swiss Army knife? Oh yeah, that's my daily carry. Mm -hmm. Right, EDC. Um, yeah. <laughs> I I carry a Leatherman, mm -hmm. uh, and I have a fluke meter <laughs> because I don't. Well, asterisk, I don't screw around with anything but fluke. Mm -hmm. I have other things that are not fluke, but they're good. Yeah. Um, but I have, I just have an old fluke meter that I keep in the bag and I have my Leatherman. You're not going to solder anything out there. No. I mean, worst case scenario is you're going to crimp it down as hard as you can and keep rocking until it burns up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, yeah. yeah. That's what the players is for. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna Travis, what do you got in your truck? I, I'm going to be the odd man out in this one, but keep in mind, I'm going to throw my own asterisk at this one. I live in my camper three months out of the year. Mm -hmm. I basically carry a small tool chest with me. I have a socket <laughs> set. I have wire strippers. I have crimpers. I have screwdrivers. I have a, a, a butane soldering gun with me because I live in my camper three months out of the year. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I carry a whole lot more because I'm not in the field just for a day. I'm in the field for weeks. Mm-hmm. Yep, that makes a difference. Um, I know we've, I've, I've got, you know, in, in the in the back of the camper, I've got a couple extra wrenches, but um, yeah, I don't I carry the a, full full set. I have a set. pocket set that I bought specifically for the truck. It lives <laughs> in the truck all year. <laughs> yep. AJK's got a red stapler. Is that a swing line stapler? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. Actually. <laughs> I'm going to consider that this week, and a stapler might actually come in handy someplace. It might. We'll it might. It might. Uh, let's see. Williams. Oops. I, I was going to try to grab here. Three eighths wrench, Phillips, and uh, pencil. I'm guessing. So. I got a uh, Leatherman Wave too. Uh, yeah. Their VADVE. -A I've got one too, but destroyed it when I used to do cable TV. I got to send this thing in and get it warranted. I had yeah, a, I had I, an old Leatherman wave, and my um, son broke the blade on it. So. There's not much on this thing other than the pliers that still works. I've broken. <laughs> you, do you know what I did to this thing when I worked and did cable TV? We, oh, we I can imagine the horrors this thing has been through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I so. so you guys got the wave Leatherman. I have the titanium. Uh, Carrie got it for me a couple years ago for Christmas, and I was I was kind of shocked. That's. That's it's not kind a of big one. ticket item, but that thing's got everything. <laughs> it'll, it'll almost cook you a dinner. Um, wow. In uh, fact, I have used it to make dinner before uh, camping. So um, the Leatherman Titanium is really nice. Yeah. Uh, really, with that, it's got a couple of um, screwdriver bits on it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, again, you're not going to troubleshoot anything really fine in the field. Um, I can fix an antenna with that thing. I can fix power supply issue with that thing. Um, I can probably get your car started with it. I might have to get one of these. I'm looking at it right okay. now. It's, I got a, I got the uh, Swiss Army uh, Officer Swiss. It's got the long okay. blade, the short blade. I've got one uh, of those somewhere. The bottle opener. With the with the oh, long God. flathead, the the oh, can opener with the short flathead, and then um, the corkscrew. So okay. I can I can open a bottle of wine. I can open a bottle of beer. Um, I can open. I can I can very I can, important I can, items in the field. Yes. I can I can That's I can peel I can peel the <laughs> I can peel the casing off a sausage and slice some cheese. So. Mm. You know, it's it's what I need. It's what I need out in the field. Yeah. The operator fed. 
and lubricated. <laughs> what more do you need? Yes. Um, William has cl clarified the pine soul yeah, pine is a solder is a, a 12 volt in USB. Okay. Oh, oh that sounds. Michael, make a couple years ago, didn't you have a butane soldering iron? I have one. Do? I got a butane one. Yep. You know, yeah. Radio Shack used to sell them, and they were really sweet. Um, because you could do, they got hot, and you could do PL 259s outdoors with them. Yeah. <laughs> in the, in the winter, to, in the I'll snow. I'll be honest with yeah. you, Joe. I don't use my electric soldering iron most of the time. I use my butane one. <laughs> well, I, I got a I got a Heiko 808 on the well, old bench. Okay, nice flex. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, and I got I got the Heiko desoldering iron yeah. gun too. That oh. that thing right there was a little expensive, but it's okay. There you go, flexing go. again. <laughs> no, no, I got the old Weller WES 50. Right, made it. It's old enough that it was made in the USA. So. Wow! Do you hold that up <laughs> the tip, like uh, by the tip that they show in the um, in the yeah. clip art pictures? Sm smells like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, it's good. And uh, yeah, it, uh, so not a lot of. I don't carry a lot of tools because it's. I don't. You know. What are you going to do out in the field besides the simple stuff? Stripping wires, crimping something together, and and whatnot. So. I will say this, though. A tackle box or some sort of organizer with some coax adapters, um, some wire terminals, maybe some 33 tape, and maybe a few other little things, just emergency supplies, that is good to keep in the trunk. Absolutely. You know, this is my new favorite thing. And this was the hot video, you know, last spring. That what this is a um a power pole connector and two of those um Wagyu um oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. connectors. The the Vago, so, the Vago, Vago, <laughs> Vago. Uh, a what? <laughs> <laughs> so and they're kind of just held together with uh, heat shrink, and they're super simple to make. Mm -hmm. uh, there's 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 a ton of videos online that are two minutes long that show you how to make this thing. But I burned last winter. Uh, Dave and I on the Wisconsin Cusel party, we burned up a power pole connector because the the blades were corroded, and oh, it no. almost it almost stopped us if 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 I didn't have a spare power cable. But I did, and we were able to continue. Um, now I keep a few of these in my kit, so if we burn up a power pole again, I can do a you know a quick uh, cut, strip, and replace. So yeah, nice. I make fun. I make fun of wiggles, but my fidget tool off screen here <laughs> is a wago. <laughs> <laughs> Electricians love them and hate them. The electrician will not admit they love wagos. <laughs> But we all love Wagos. We just, those, you know, like, oh God, those things will burn up. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> at least they're at least good to 20 amps. The older gray ones are good to about 30 amps, mm -hmm. but the clear ones like this are good to about 20. Yeah. That'll be fine for any radio. And it's, we it's it's good it's good enough for this for it for yeah. for a quickie. Um, mm -hmm. you know, if you need to um Convert something to a power pole. You know, if you're thinking about N MCOM, you know, EDC, we always talking about the power pole standard. You know, oh, absolutely. Keep two or three you know, of those in your back. Keep two or three yeah. if, if you need to, you know, if you've got power poles and everything and you need to convert some, you know, get onto a battery or something like that, you know, you, you, you got it. So, and they're easy to make. Just get a, get a pack of power poles, get a pack of um, Wagos and some. Um, 12 gauge wire. Yeah. So. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.